one mole represents 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which is 602 sextillion. And that's a very large number. And so if we want to talk about that in terms of how many uh, grains of rice that would be, well, that would be enough uh, rice to fill the entire land area in the whole world to a depth of about 200 feet. And if we talked about 602 sextillion molecules of water, well, that would not be very much water. In fact, that would be um, about two-thirds of an ounce of water, so not very much at all. And so the, hopefully that helps us to realize how big uh, Avogadro's number is. It's a very large number, uh, but uh, it also helps us to realize that a molecule or an atom of something is very, very tiny. And so today we're going to uh, do some calculations and learn how to convert atoms to moles and moles to atoms and vice versa. So we're starting with this problem here. Convert 8.62 times 10 to the 24th atoms of iron to moles. And so the first thing we do when we carry out a conversion is we write down what's given to us. And so we write down 8.62 times 10 to the 24th atoms of iron. And the question says to convert that to moles. And so down here at the end I'm going to have equals and I'm going to write moles. And when we get a number next to that uh, unit there we're going to have our answer. And so the first thing we have to do is to set a conversion factor here and we need to put atoms on the denominator of our conversion factor because uh, any unit we start with, well, that needs to go in the denominator, so that will cancel out. And then in the numerator here, we have to put moles, because that's the unit we're converting to. So moles on top. Now, remember, the value of the numerator has to be equal to the value of the denominator in the conversion factor. So one thing we've learned is that one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And so with that in mind, we can cancel atoms, top and bottom. And so the only unit we have left is moles of iron. And so it looks like we have to divide. And so on our calculator, we take 8.62 times 10 to the 24th and divide that by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we get about 14.3. And so our answer is, 14.3 moles of iron. So that's the first problem. Let's try another problem similar to that. Here we have convert 0 0.39 moles of water to molecules. And so this time we're converting to molecules. That's another very tiny fundamental unit in chemistry. It works the same way. So we're going to start with what's given to us. So we have 0.39 moles of water. We're going to write that down. And the question says convert that to molecules. And so down here at the end, we're going to have an equal sign. And we're going to uh, convert that to, to molecules. And so we set that equal to equal to equal to molecules of water. And so we're going to set up a conversion factor again. And so moles, that needs to go in the denominator. Since we're starting with that, we always put that unit on the bottom. And since we're converting to molecules, molecules has to go on top of our conversion factor. And so we need num some numbers in here. And hopefully you remember that one mole is the same as that big number, Avogadro's number of molecules. We put that on the top and we can cancel moles top and bottom. And so it looks like we're left with molecules of water. So we're going to multiply 0.39 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And when we do that, we get an answer of about 2.3 times 10 to the 23rd. So 
we write that as our answer. And that's how many molecules of water we have at the end of this problem. So that's the answer. All right, we'll move on to another uh, type of problem. Here we can uh, convert moles to molecules and, and, and vice versa and to atoms, but sometimes we don't really uh, care about how many atoms or molecules we have. We know that atoms and molecules are very tiny and it's sometimes just not practical to count them. So sometimes it's more valuable to know what's the volume of a mole, especially if we're talking about a gas. And so here's another number that helps us to, to calculate that. One mole is equal to 22.4 liters of a gas. Now, you might remember that uh, gases can be compressed. They can have a large pressure, a, a low pressure. They can be compressed into a smaller area if need be. And so we need to, to specify the specific conditions at which one mole equals 22.4 liters of gas. And so it only works at these conditions at zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. So zero degrees Celsius, that's a pretty cold temperature. That's a temperature on a, on, on a fairly chilly morning. And one atmosphere of pressure is probably about what you're feeling right now. Now, those conditions are so important to us in chemistry, we give them a name. We call them standard temperature and pressure. So that's what those conditions are called. Now, that's a mouthful to say standard temperature and pressure. So sometimes we call that STP as an abbreviation. So sometimes you might read it in a chemistry book that one mole is equal to 22.4 liters of gas at STP. And so that's an abbreviation that's used quite often. Now let's try an example here. Here we have how many liters are in 12.6 moles of argon gas at STP. So we're going to start with uh, what's given to us, just like we did on the other problems. 12.6 moles. of argon. And the question says, how many liters? And so we're trying to convert to liters. And so once again, we have an equals, and I'm going to put liters of argon. And we have to convert to that unit. So we need a conversion factor. And what unit goes in the denominator? Well, I hope you said moles, because that's the unit we're starting with. And so that unit goes on the bottom. And then what unit goes on the top? Well, I hope you said liters because that's the unit we're converting to. So liters will go on the top. And one mole equals 22.4 liters of a gas at STP. So we can cancel moles, top and bottom. And as you can see, we're left with liters of argon. So we're going to multiply this 12.6 times 22.4 and when you multiply that it's about equal to 282 so it's about 282 liters of argon and so that's how we solve those problems very simple let's try one more example here this time uh, it says if we have 2.67 moles of water vapor in a container at STP what is the containers volume so once again, we're starting with 2.67 moles of water at STP. So we'll write that down. And this time the question says, what is the container's volume? Well, when you see volume, hopefully you realize that volume is normally measured in liters. And so we have to convert to liters. And so way down here at the end, I'm going to put equals liters and we're going to need a conversion factor once again so since we're starting with moles what unit goes in the denominator of the conversion factor well it's moles it's whatever we started with so moles on the bottom and then liters since it's what we're converting to goes on the top in the numerator so liters and moles well we learned that one mole is equivalent to 22.4 liters of a gas at STP. So we can cancel moles, top and bottom. 
And now we're going to take 2.67 times 22.4, and the answer we get is about 59.8. And so it's equal to about 59.8 um, liters of gas at STP. And so that's our answer for that problem. And so that's the end of the lesson. Hopefully, at this point, you have an appreciation for how big uh, Avogadro's number is, also how small atoms and molecules are. In addition, we've learned how to convert uh, from atoms, molecules, and other tiny units to moles, and vice versa. And we've also learned how to convert from moles to liters of gas at STP, and vice versa.